Hey guys, so I'm here playing with my Seven Gypsies ATC rack. Um, this rack is not made anymore. Um, I bought some of them back when I was still buying wholesale when Seven Gypsies was still around and in business, um, which I understand they're not anymore. Um, you can get them sometimes on eBay, and at, I found a couple more at my local art supply store. They were clearancing them, the, them out. Um, they kind of didn't know what they had, so I snatched a bunch up. Um, so look around if this kind of thing is something you're interested in. Eileen McKinnis did recently put out a video where she made her own, so I'll try to remember to link that in the description below. But I really love these as a way of displaying your ATC cards. Now, back when they did sell them, they sold all kinds of um, cards that were pre-cut and punched to fit on here that you could make ATCs directly on. They also sold sleeves with a plastic tab that were pre-cut that um, you could slide a card into and hang it on here, which I love, but I'm running out of them. So I had an idea for taking a plastic ATC sleeve. And this one obviously is really big because it's from something else. It's from, it must be from something else. Let's get a smaller one. Okay, so here's a standard size plastic ATC sleeve. I'm going to put this card in here and I'm going to push it over as far as I can to one side. And then I have a strip of watercolor paper and I just lined it up with one of these and made some pencil marks. And when I bought my first one of these, I bought the punch that punches these, these type of holes. So I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to use my tiny attacher. You could use plastic too if you have some like hard plastic. Maybe from some packaging or something. Okay, let's see. Yep. Alright. So I love that and I've been getting a few ATC cards in Happy Mail, so I want to put them on here, but the other idea I had is if this worked, I could take this idea and maybe cut apart some of my pocket letters with my hot knife and um, then put a hanging tab on the one side and I could put all my pocket letter cards on here and divide them by the person who sent them to me. And I could turn some of these Manila um, Seven Gypsies ATC cards into tabs by putting a tab at the top. Where's my tab? by putting a tab at the top or the side and, I, and I, I've been saving the ad name and address of the person who's been sending me the pocket letters so I could put this in the front and then I know everything behind it is from that person. I think that's a great idea. So I'm going to work on that and I'll be right back.
Okay, that worked really well, and I took one of my cards and I turned it into a tab card. This is a Smashbook tab, and then I decorated it with little bits and pieces that Sherry sent me. And I did put her, I have my fingers there because I put her address from the envelope on here. I put another sticker here, and then that goes on the ATC rack, and everything behind it, between it and the next tab, is from Sherry from that pocket letter. And in one of the pockets where it was originally um, on the pocket letter, I left the note from Sherry inside. And I took all the bits and pieces out of ephemera and stickers and I put them in this box and then I have, there was a packet of tea in there so I pulled that out. I'm going to keep doing that because I love this idea. I think this is great. I do have two more of these out in the garage. Love it. I hope I don't fill them all up. That's all I have. <laughs> Anyway, I love it, I love it, I love it. I wish Seven Gypsies are, um, still made these, was still around, and I wish, if not, if they can't be here, I wish somebody else would make them. I love them. All right, I'm going to keep using my hot tool to cut my pocket letters apart. It works really well. There's a lot of videos, well, there's a few videos on YouTube already about how to use this to cut plastic apart and make plastic pockets. Um, one of them is mine, and... Linda Lopatka, I know, made a video, so did the Frugal Crafter. I'll remember, try to remember to link them in the description below. Um, but it's just your standard hot tool or, or wood burning tool and with um, this small little nozzle on it. And um, I just use it to basically cut apart the plastic um, sheet protector that the pocket letter comes in. And then I have nine little pockets and I don't have to use up the pockets I have because it came with them. All I have to do is attach a hanging tab. I think that's fabulous. All right, that's it for today. Um, you can find now all of my copyright notices and appropriate disclaimers in the description below on all of my videos. I added them recently um, and also updated all of my contact information. So if you ha um, are just somebody who wants to send me something or you're a pro you have a product um, or a company that you would like me to um, review your stuff, uh, try it on camera, and you want to send me something, my contact information is in the description below, and I'd be happy to have you contact me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, or week, or weekend, and uh, don't forget to do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it. Like, you know, make your pocket letters pretty in a place where you can display them by your desk and just look at them and you know, that's what I like to do. I like to just flip through it and look at these, and they're just, they're just fabulous. You guys have sent me some great stuff. All right, that's it for today, everybody. I'll see you later.